morning all. Will Sergeant Hope and Sergeant Biondo please start their recordings? PC recording started. Thank you. Call recording started. Thank you. And will Sergeant Polite please start with his opening statement? Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Welcome to the remote hearing to the Committee on Housing and Buildings. Will council members and staff please turn on their videos at this time? Again, will council members and staff please turn on their videos at this time? To minimize disruptions, please place all cell phones, electronic devices on vibrate. Chair, we are ready to begin. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. I'm Councilmember Robert Carnegie, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to vote on a bill related to incorporating the use of drones into the important process of conducting building facade inspections. Required by law since 1980 and enforced by the Department of Buildings, periodic building facade inspections are intended to ensure that building facades are safe and secure, mitigating the risks of bricks and debris falling onto pedestrians below. However, beside these, beside, despite these inspection requirements, accidents still happen and can have tragic consequences. <clears throat> the use of drones may enable more thorough facade inspections and improve pedestrian safety. Further, they may reduce the need for sidewalk sheds, which are often installed for the purpose of conducting facade inspections and repairs. However, there are many questions regarding the safety and feasibility of allowing drones to conduct facade inspections, such as potential conflicts with federal rules and issues related to privacy. To answer these questions and facilitate the implementation of drone technology, proposed intro number 1853A, which I sponsored, will require DOB to conduct a study of the safety and feasibility of allowing drones to conduct facade inspections. I'm joined today by committee members, Lewis, Perkins, Rosenthal, Cabrera, and Yeager. Oh, and I see uh, council member Jonai also has joined. Did I miss anybody? We'll now ask the, com the committee clerk to call the roll. Oh, I see Barry Gredenchik, I'm sorry. Hey, Barry. And me, Robert. Oh, Margaret Chen, way up in the right hand corner. I'm sorry. Good morning, Margaret. Mr. Chair, we're good. Yes, sir. Go. Thank you. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on housing and buildings. Introduction 1853A, Chair Carnegie. Um, I would like to explain my vote, please. So good afternoon, 1853A takes a step forward in a longer process of, dating, of, of, of updating our laws to reflect technology we have available today. Drones could play a positive role in building management from facade and roof inspection to energy efficiency analysis. Drones could offer cost-effective opportunities to detect problems early and prevent tragic injuries and deaths. The current 22-year-old and 72-year-old local laws that govern drone use are due for a fresh look by all of us as policymakers. As we pursue this first step, studying drone laws and regulations and offering recommendations for changes, intro 1853A recognizes the need to include safety and privacy protections in our analysis. We wanna pursue any changes with, with an awareness of perspective from multiple stakeholders and take their insight and expertise on board. I wanna thank my colleagues, and I especially wanna thank all the experts and advocates who have already begun to share their expertise and experience with us. This legislation and the report and the report it requires the Department of Buildings to produce will help us bring facade inspections and our broader drone policies up to date. Ultimately, that means more confidence in the safety of our buildings and more safety for everyday New Yorkers. All New Yorkers and the legacies of Grace Gold, Erica Tishman, Zhang Yi, and all those killed or injured due to building facade deserve no less. And with that, I vote aye. Cabrera. Aye. Chin. Aye. Rosenthal. With gratitude to the chair for this legislation, I vote aye. Uh, Torres. I vote aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Perkins. Aye. Jonai. 
with my compliments uh, to the chair on uh, this important bill, an absolute aye. Lewis. I vote aye. Okay, by an, <clears throat> excuse me, by a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, introduction 1853A has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. So uh, right before I close, I'd like to give a special thank you to, um, to Corey Johnson, special thank you to the committee staff and everybody who worked hard on this bill. Um, I, I, I'm very happy to be partially responsible for making uh, from a housing and building perspective, uh, the, the city of New York a safer place for its pedestrians. So thank you. Uh, and this hearing 